The tiger who came to tea mogged the forgetful cat when Hitler stole Pink Rabbit. The writing and illustrations of Judith Carr have made her a favourite for generations of children. Approaching her 90th birthday, she's still hard at work on a new picture book and she's been reading to children at the National Portrait Gallery. Our culture editor, Matthew Kane, couldn't resist taking her for tea. Sometimes she ate her supper, then she forgot that she'd eaten it. She's the author of nearly Sometimes 30 books, including 17 about a forgetful cat lake, called Mog. But Judith Carr is still best known as the creator of a much bigger cat, what? the tiger who came to tea. Why do you think it has been so successful and it continues to be? I think it's quite simply that it's a story I made up for my little daughter when she was two going on three. So I told it to her again and again, and she sort of edited it in a way, because you can always tell when children are bored. Does the tiger have any metaphorical significance? None whatsoever. We'd been to the zoo and we'd seen the animals and we liked the tigers best. As well as writing picture books, Judith Carr has written about her own life in When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit. The novel tells the story of her childhood in Germany as the daughter of an outspoken critic of the Nazi party and the family's escape to Britain in 1933. He hugged and hugged them all and would not let them go. I couldn't see you, said Papa. I was afraid. I know, said Mama. I had what is supposed to be a difficult childhood, but didn't seem like it. I loved it. I thought it was terrific, moving to all these different countries. Um, I didn't ever think about how terribly hard it was for my parents, not till much later. And I think about it a lot now, because their lives were really ruined. Um, and I've had such a happy one. It's now 45 years since Judith Kerr introduced us to a certain tiger who came to tea. And during that time, children's lives have undergone some huge changes, as has the publishing industry. But children's fiction is one of the few areas of publishing which continues to grow, perhaps proving that one thing about children hasn't changed. They all have these electronic things. My grandchildren have, God knows what, iPads whatever they are, but uh, well, yeah, they're much the same. Um, they like hearing stories. I think it's a way of finding out about the world. The children from St Joseph's School in London agree and content. enjoyed the reading of When Hitler Stole Pink Nazis. Rabbit. I think it was quite moving because um, she's obviously gone through a lot of hardship. I like reading stories because it teaches me things and um, shows me pictures of what it was like in the olden days. Every story has a life lesson and that, um, like it helps you go, get on in life. As she approaches her 90th birthday, Judith Carr is working on a new life lesson in her latest picture book. But she has a surprising confession. Well, I, I don't think of myself uh, primarily as a writer. I wrote these books because these things happened to me. I, I draw. I love to draw. I always have done. And um, I'm working on a new book now, and I feel quite wrongly, I'm sure, that I'm finally finding out how to do this, and that's very exciting.